let's be honest. Athens, Georgia has a huge drinking problem. With 80 bars in a single square mile, just looking at a map of UGA will make you feel like you just partied with Steve Sarkeesian. The booziest city in the United States per capita, Athens once killed a man with two livers. <gasps> However, going into the 2019 season, rampant alcoholism isn't the drinking problem this town's worried about. This season is the first that the SEC will allow schools to sell alcohol in common areas of the stadium, while teams like Missouri, LSU, and Tennessee will open up the floodgates to the rich and poor alike. That isn't the case in Georgia. Bulldog Athletic Director Greg McGarity announced that not only would alcohol sales not be available to common fans in Sanford Stadium, but to qualify for a cup of beer at the game, you have to donate a minimum of $25,000. Yeah, the new alcohol policy, you, you know about it. Do, yes, what yes. What do you think about it? Um, obviously not in favor of it. My initial reaction is like, whoa. I don't think, really think that's fair, just because we um, do pay for tickets to go to the games, like just like everyone else. $25,000 seems a little steep if the rest of the SEC is going to allow it. $25,000 is more than just steep. It's damn near vertical. And while the rich and powerful might just laugh it off as they hang out here, here, or here, these poor students, and I mean poor, aren't laughing at all. Wannabe drinkers with less than $25,000 have to resort to a life of crime and smuggling. You ever see students, you know, bringing in alcohol that they're not supposed to? Ah, uh, you know, some people slip through the cracks. You see things, not so good things happen. You said they put it in their cracks? Nah, <laughs> no, they slip through the cracks. Have you ever witnessed someone try to put a flask in their pocket or something? I'm more so, it's the, uh, the airplane bottles. You ever put an airplane bottle in your grundle? Yeah, no, never done that. Never done that. Um, heard a few people who have, but, you know, that's not my move. Each person has their own unique way of getting alcohol in, but if it... What's your way? I'll just put it in my pocket and just wear a baggy shirt. Nice. Unfortunately, not everyone can afford baggy shirts, and even fewer can afford to spend hard time in prison as a convicted smuggler. To make this situation right, I met with the leader of the Georgia fan base to figure out how we could best honor the wishes of UGA in 2019. Well, this is my thing. If Georgia wanted students and poor people to be drinking, then they wouldn't charge $25,000. So tell me this, what can we do, me and you, to stop people from bringing in flasks, airplane bottles, other miniature devices that I don't even know have been created yet? We gotta get more into the game. Yeah. Like, Spice Squad, my four years here, we've done a pretty good job of being hype ourselves. Yeah. I'd love for people to come in and join in, get as hype as we do. Curtis, the Spike Squad captain, was not only hype, but open-minded and we discussed some very good ideas. Oh dude, what if we did this? What if we did this? What if we hand out Tylenol packets as people walk in the stadium and that way uh, we'll be able to tell who's been drinking based on who has liver failure. Everyone has to, as they enter the student section, has to cut a little tiny cut on their lip. That way the alcohol burns real bad if they drink it. What if there's like a raffle or something and someone wins a, a Ford F-150 at maybe halftime and then they get to drive it away but if, they, if they've been drinking and their blood alcohol content's too high, then they'll get a DUI on, the, on like the big screen and get a ticket written by Kirby Smart. I mean, a ticket by Kirby Smart would be kind of funny. Because we don't want anybody to get in trouble. As a safety net, if someone has been drinking, we'll hire a priest to be there. And, and then if they get in trouble, he can come over and say, yo, this was just communion. <laughs> These are, uh, these are funny ideas, but also we could just, as students, be accountable of each other and ourselves. Curtis, the Spike Squad captain, was right. It's up to the community to rectify this situation. By putting our heads together and bellies, we were able to come up with a cool and progressive alternative to make narking cool again. It's called the Watchdogs. Finally a street team to ensure the sobriety of poor people.
There might be a lot of bread in Italy, but that doesn't make the Vatican a bakery. Yeah, there's 80 bars in Athens, but that doesn't mean Sanford Stadium is one of them. So, this 2019 season, if you're a poor person, don't get a job. Instead, volunteer as a member of the Watchdogs.